Hi, this is how to use your label pack. So first I'll show you the iron on. Good idea to turn the garment inside out. You can put it on any surface under the collar at the bottom. I'll show you this where we will put it under the collar. We get the label out. You choose your space. You set your iron to the desired temperature. I think it's served and uh, the steam needs to be turned off. You make sure the iron is, the temperature is not too hot, otherwise the label is going to burn. You put the label down and here goes the first application of 30 seconds. We have to make sure that we don't move the iron around. And it's always a good idea to apply a bit of pressure and the labels covered properly by under the iron. That's the first application of 30 seconds. The label is stuck. We need to allow the garment to cool down till it's normal temperature once again. Second application, if you notice behind the packs of the iron on, there's a set of instructions and we've also put another uh, set of instructions in the form of a little sheet there in the back another set uh, application of 30 seconds press the iron down firmly do not move it around that's another 30 seconds the label is getting nicely stuck to the garment there are no frayed edges anywhere we allow it to cool down the garment cools down and the third and the last application of another 30 seconds firmly down the iron, labels all covered and don't move the iron around we've made sure that the steam is not on that's another 30 seconds and there you go the garments labeled it's become part of the fabric it's soft non itchy doesn't come off in the washing machine uh, I would suggest that you leave it overnight just so that the label gets cured the other label that you have in your pack is a shoe label it's in this form all you need to do is take the label out and stick it on the sole of the shoe. It's always advisable that we don't touch the label too much so that we leave the remaining glue. And there's another cling for a little bit of clear film that's packed in your uh, bag. You need to take that out. and stick it on top of the label and press it down firmly so this uh, this allows the label to stay there longer so that there's no moisture that gets to it as it's in the shoe the third form of the label is your multi-purpose the peel and stick you just need to peel it which has the school logo and stick it to the desired surface and this is how it goes onto the surface these are scratch resistant and waterproof you can use it on a variety of things which kids take to school and which are easily misplaced another thing is the swimming goggles that stay underwater for a long time You can just get one of your ironing on labels. This works the best of any, on anything that's in water. Loop it around, equal out the edges, and just stick the iron down carefully onto it. Hold it for 30 seconds again. Take it off, turn it around. Press it down again, making sure it's all covered and it's not touching the plastic of your goggles to spoil it. This is done and it's never going to come off. Even on, in the swimming pool, if it's there for two, three hours under water, nothing happens to it. Thank you.